Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Sneha and today I'm creating three looks using this beautiful sunset palette by Natasha Denona. So these are the three looks I've created. The first one is using the yellow from this palette, the second one being a traditional sunset look and in the third one I've used more pinky purple tones. So if you'd like to see how I created these looks, please stay tuned. So starting with this first look which uses more yellow and orangey tones from this palette. So for all my tutorials I'm going to use the same eyeshadow base which is my NARS eye primer. And then I'm going to apply that all over my eyelids, blend it in with my finger and set it with this powder. And here I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury powder for this step. The first eyeshadow I'm using is this yellow from this palette called Soul and it's a matte eyeshadow. So I'm going to pack this all over my eyelid, take it into the crease and then blend it up towards my brow bone. As you can see it's a stunning yellow shade, I absolutely love it. Next I'm going in with this light orange shade called Horizon, which is again a matte eyeshadow. I'm going to take a very small amount and apply that into my crease. Next I'm taking this deeper orange brown called Sinai. And this is again a matte shade and I'm going to focus this more into my socket and then blending it in towards the other eyeshadows we had. Then I'm going to use this crystal eyeshadow called Ice Cold. I'm going to use that as a brow bone highlighter. Then I'm using this duochrome shade called Mandarin and applying that in my tear duct area. Then going in with this cool toned deeper brown called Igneous. I'm going to use this as my eyeliner. So I'm just packing that on my top and bottom lash line and creating this wing at the outer corner. And then I'm using my blending brush just to buff out the eyeshadow on the lower lash line. Next I'm taking this stunning red shade from this palette called Panjin, Panjin. And I'm going to apply a small amount into my crease to deepen it up further. And then also I'm going to run some on my lower lash line just below that brown shade we used. And this just helps in tying the whole look together. And I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Cold Eyeliner. So any black eyeliner will do for this step and applying that to my top and bottom waterline. And then for all my looks I'm using the MAC Giga Lash Mascara for my bottom lashes and the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara for my top lashes. For this look, I went in with this natural style of lashes by Eskido called Unforgettable and this is how it looks. So this is look number one. Moving on to number two which is this gorgeous sunset inspired look. So I've already gone ahead and primed my eyes and everything and now starting with the eyeshadows, I'm first taking this orange shade Horizon which is a matte eyeshadow and applying that into my socket. And you can see how easily these eyeshadows blend. Next I'm going in with a small amount of that yellow to blend out that orange, so towards my brow bone. Then I'm taking this deeper orange called Sinai, again a matte eyeshadow and I'm going to create this halo shape leaving that center portion bare and also the outer and the inner corners bare. Also make sure to connect it into the crease and here I'm just blending everything out. And then going in with that stunning red shade called Panjin and focusing that on the innermost and outermost corners of the eye and also taking some into the crease and blending everything in. Then I'm just going to repeat the same steps on the lower lash line so going in with this orangey brown shade first and then the red shade on the inner and the outer corner keeping the middle bare and then just blending everything. And then going in with this stunning duochrome shade called Mandarin. So it's a orangey gold but with a gold shift if that makes sense. And then I packed some on with my finger but to intensify it I again went in with the MAC mixing medium and layered some more on it. For my waterline I applied the Ingla Gel Liner in the shade 97 I believe which is this copper shade and then lining my top waterline with this black pencil and then going in with my mascara for my top and bottom lashes. And this is look number two. I didn't apply any fake lashes because I still wanted the beautiful eyeshadows to show up so this is how it looks. 
And now moving on to the third and the final look, I wanted to use more of the pinky tones from this palette. First again going in with this horizon shade in my crease. And then using some of that yellow shade, Soul, to blend it out. But applying a very small amount so that the yellow doesn't show up as much. Then going in with Sinai, which is the deeper orange shade. Applying that into my crease. And then really blending it out with the previous shades we had. The next I'm going in with this pale pink shade called Bermuda, which is also a matte eyeshadow. I'm using that to first lighten the crease to make it more peachy in tone, and then also to pack it on the mobile eyelid. Next I'm using the Ice Gold, the white shade from this palette, and using that as a brow bone highlight. And then layering the shade Bronze Age, which is a crystal eyeshadow, on top of that pink shade. So that creates this nice in-between shade. And then using this brown shade called Terra and applying that on the outer corner of my eye. And then to further deepen it up, I'm using this ready brown purpley tone called Volcano, which is again a matte eyeshadow and just focusing that on the outer portion of the eye. And again, just taking my time to blend it with the other eyeshadows. I'm also using that Bermuda shade in the inner corner. And I'm going to layer the ice cold white shade on top of that as my inner corner highlight. Then I'm applying the orange shade that we use first, Horizon on the bottom lash line, followed by Terra on the outer portion of the eye. And then also that dark brown volcano right at the very edge of the eye. So I've already gone ahead and applied my mascara for this. Then I'm using a black coal for my top waterline. And then this beautiful purple shade by Sephora for my bottom waterline and this completes look number three so i really hope you enjoyed all three looks let me know in the comment section below which of these looks was your favorite but otherwise thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye Feel the waves cut through me